This is Jeremy Olson from Monster Training. Today we'll be working on the bench press challenge, of course, uh, a method developed by the Russians. It's been modified a little bit. Um, today we'll be working on speed and muscular endurance. And uh, basically, what we're doing today is the decline, and I have the heavy duty chains on there. And trying to go for a high rep, maybe 10 rep, 10 reps high for me. Um, the challenge calls for eight. I'm going to try to hit 10. Hopefully, anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. This is basic big one. First, hit that pipe and like the rock, so just in case. If you know, you know, it only takes one mistake. You can do pop a rotator cuff to your bicep to your tricep, uh, throw a dish in your back. You can even lose your life doing this. Put some weights, yeah. Buddy was doing the bench press and dropped the bar on his throat. He was all right, but pretty scary. Maybe you won't go real heavy. This is decline. This is just working on the muscular endurance and a little bit of speed work. If you uh, listen to all these people on YouTube and TikTok, these gurus, they power lift and lift heavy all the time. Got another thing coming. I go to the gym just to isolate my quads and biceps. And do chest at home. Your chest, shoulders at home. Abs at home. Calves at home. I mean, to really isolate, you just got to do your GPP work and all that. It's best to go to the gym for that. Cardio, too, as you run outside. Let's go ahead and try to hit four sets, 10 reps on all of them, and uh, try to move his weight as fast as possible and explosive as possible. Now, that PM's too high up. We'll be all right. Safety. Safety first, right? Now, I see why they said eight reps. But, uh, you work on your muscle endurance, you work on your Explosibility. All to improve one thing, your absolute strength. Or your maximum strength.
Might have to drop it down. I ain't doing this. Get pin on a decline, you're in a sticky situation. So I mean you're down angle. There's nowhere to roll it off you nowhere. There's a trick to it. It's odd to get pinned on purpose so you know how to get off of it unless you ever get pinned to decline. I'm hungry already. Already ate three times today. Secret for everybody. Power that their body better. If you're working out and you're training properly and you're not hungry all the time, you're not training hard enough. Hear stories of guys having to force feed themselves. Bull crap. You may be eating six times a day, weighing your food out. You should be still hungry. Your body should be wanting that junk food, craving that chocolate cake when you can't have it. So, you gotta learn how to train your body to eat properly. That's the hardest part of this. Being a powerlifter, a world champion, all this stuff goes out the window if you can't diet. If you can't diet, let's give up now. And I ain't talking about six months on, six weeks on, and then eat what you want to. Bullshit. Year round. You gotta diet. I'm not saying you don't have to eat a lot. You can eat a lot. You just gotta eat healthy. Be smart about it. One more set. I need to drop some weight and hit a superset and just really hit it rep out. Work on some real speed work. But that's the that's the way the method book wants you to do it there. They want to keep you at a certain percentage to make you stronger. It works. Spin Jeremy Housing. <laughs>